What inspired me to be a part of STEM was the fact that this world needs more problem solvers. I hope to use my skills and time as a future engineer to find solutions to these problems with an empathetic worldview. However, I have faced a few minor challenges as a woman in STEM. They include the explicit discouragement of pursuing this path from some of my previous schooling institutions, and the fact that I often feel as though I need to prove myself before I gain the respect of the people I encounter, which may not be the case for my male peers. However, based on my experiences throughout my degree and in industry, I see a bright future with women in STEM having a seat at the table. I'm inspired to be part of it because it feeds my creativity and it feeds my ambition. So as a kid, I told myself when I grew up, I want to be an inventor. I used to see, you know, all these toys that people made and all these websites and all like Facebook, Google, like I was so blown away by it. And at the time I told myself, I could never do that. That's insane. That's crazy. How, where would I even start? But then going into STEM, you learn science and you learn technology from the base fundamentals you know you learn how to problem solve how to figure out how to answer questions without having all the information and from there how to invent things you're literally given the tools and the knowledge to create things that's exactly what i want to do in the future that's exactly where i see my path going and i'm very very happy that i picked stem what inspired me to be in STEM is that I've always been curious and I've always wanted to learn and understand how things work. I'm also surrounded by many people who inspire me every day, uh, such as my lab mates or also my supervisor who pushes me to do better and work harder every day. Um, a challenge that I faced being a woman in STEM is how hard I found it to participate in classes and to speak up um, because I was so scared to say the wrong thing or make a mistake or I thought that other people or other classmates um, had better ideas. But one way I overcame this was by telling myself that it's okay to make mistakes and by participating in class uh, you learn better and that also my ideas matter. Life. I've been seeking challenges. I don't like to stay in my comfort zone and I'm drawn to the challenges and opportunities provided by STEM. I am inspired by the potential to make an impact, to make a difference in this world using scientific research and innovation. Particularly, the ability to solve real world problems using scientific knowledge is what inspires me the most. And as a woman, I faced many challenges in STEM, like implicit bias, limited representation, sometimes I feel imposter syndrome, and most of the times I feel the need to constantly prove myself. However, I've been lucky to be surrounded by supportive mentors and peers who encourage and uplift me. Well, I've always loved math and physics, and I've always been fascinated with how things work. And I was very lucky to discover a branch of engineering called biomedical engineering, where we get to discover how the human body works. And probably one of the best parts of that field is that we get to have an impact on human health using our engineering skills. I was inspired to be part of STEM because I really wanted to learn how things work and how to build things. Being surrounded by objects every day designed by engineers really makes me feel proud to study engineering. As a woman in STEM, there's definitely been times where I felt like I don't really belong or there isn't a place for me here, but being surrounded by a supportive community has continually reminded me why I'm here. If I had to describe women in STEM with one word, it would be perseverant. Powerful. Innovative. Resilient. Perseverance. Tenacious. Trailblazers. The best advice I have received was to take every opportunity that was offered to me. You never know what you're going to gain from trying something new. And I can honestly say that I've never regretted saying yes to one of those opportunities. The advice I would give to the younger generation of women in STEM would be to be confident in your own abilities and to go for what you want. People will always see the value in someone who's passionate about what they want to do. So don't be the obstacle in the way to your own future. Stop rejecting yourself. You could be applying to a job and think, oh, I don't have enough qualifications or applying to a scholarship and think there's so many better candidates out there than me. How do you know that? You don't, you do not know that. Don't reject yourself before other people have the chance to see your potential. You know, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot of skills. And if you don't even present that to these decision makers in your life and to your network, you will never be given opportunities. Let other people reject you. Let other people evaluate you. As long as you put your best effort and present your best possible self to people, that's all you can control. You can't control what other people will and won't say. And that's the most important thing because the worst possible answer you could hear is a no. And the best possible answer is, heck yeah, we want you. The best advice that I was ever given was grades don't define who you are. So a bad grade on a quiz or a midterm, it's not the end of the world. What's important is how you come back from it and how you do better next time. Grades shouldn't stop you from having the best university experience possible because at the end of the day, what you're going to remember is all the experiences you had, not the grades you got. 
The best advice I've received is not to be afraid to ask questions because it would save me a lot of time. And that turned out to be really true. If I had to give one advice for younger generations of women in STEM, I would say to not be afraid to get uncomfortable or getting out of your comfort zone. Often the most exciting experiences lie outside of your comfort zone and as hard as it is to take that step out, um, it's always very satisfying and very rewarding. A piece of advice that I truly believe is important for women in STEM is to develop a strong sense of self-efficacy. That is, believe in yourself and your ability to succeed despite any challenges or obstacles. Developing self-efficacy requires cultivating a growth mindset, setting achievable goals, and seeking out mentors and peers for support. By believing in yourself and in your ability to make a difference, you can overcome any obstacle that comes in your way and you can thrive in your career. Was someone once told me to remember that this is your own personal journey. And in STEM, and for women in STEM, this can be a tough, a demanding path. It's easy to compare yourself to what others are doing. So I do think that is key to be able to remind yourself of why you're on this journey. And so I think I would pass this piece of advice on to others as well. Try to remember why you're doing this, why it's fun for you, why it's inspirational, what impact you think you're making, but to remember that this is your journey and to make it your journey. The best advice I've received is to not be the first to give up on myself. I remember distinctly someone telling me that things might feel difficult, but that's okay because we can do difficult things. If I could give advice to younger generations of women in STEM, I would say you can do this, you've got this, and there's a place for you here.